Since the mid-20th century, natural gas has brought much prosperity. Almost all houses are connected to the gas network for heating, cooking and showering. So natural gas plays a crucial role in modern society, being the cleanest fossil fuel with the lowest carbon footprint. And it will remain crucial in the years to come during the transition to alternative energy sources. In the North Sea, the natural gas comes from ever smaller gas fields. As a result, it takes more and more investment and effort to produce this gas. Both Shell UK and NAM are facing this challenge and work together in a combined business unit called One Gas, where they apply innovative techniques in order to increase safety and reduce cost. We've been producing these assets for, for about four decades now, which means that we're at we're in later field life for the gas fields, which means that they're producing less and less over time. So we need to keep up with our cost base in order to make sure we can, uh, we can operate uh, profitable. To do this, OneGas started the so-called decomplexing strategy. We're currently looking at uh, what we call decomplexing, which is basically lowering our operational costs by centralizing our gas processing. At the moment, we're gas processing on individual platforms, which then feed into a main hub, which then exports to the Den Helder uh, plant. What we're going to do as part of the decomplexing strategy is we're going to remove the gas processing from the individual platforms, centralize that on the hub, on one offshore platform, then treat it there and then export it to Den Helder. That actually allows us to lower the cost base by about 60% while reducing our energy consumption and reducing our emissions. The gas from the satellite wells goes to the L13 platform from where the now untreated gas is being transported to the K14 facility where water and condensate will be removed from the gas. This gas is then transported to the Den Helder gas treatment plant. Here, the gas will be further treated until it's ready for consumer use. This is the key initiative we have to lower our operational cost base in the Southern North Sea and to keep us in operations for a longer period of time. The L13 decomplexing approach is using the existing base crew and the existing operational staff, so it's highly driven by them, to execute quite a big project. So what we have done, we have cut up that project into smaller, more comprehensive pieces. And with those small pieces, we can spread out the workload over a longer period of time. This allows the existing platform crew to use their own logistics, their own bedding, basically their own facilities to execute this project in a very lean way. And we're going to do that in three phases. Phase one is basically the wet gas conversion, so bypassing the existing gas processing facilities, which is going to happen in this summer. Phase two is planned for next summer in 2017, which is basically going from a manned to an unmanned platform and heavily saving on the uh, operational budget. And in between, and it's very crucial, in between these two phases is the demolition of obsolete equipment and also the fabric maintenance scope of the, of the project. On L13 FC1, the operations and maintenance crew introduced a new working method for demolition, water cutting. I was within the project from the beginning to be able to uh, transfer this platform from a normal production facility to a new, a normally unmanned facility. During and executing our maintenance work, we have found a solution for actually removing obsolete equipment during normal production. I found a company who actually uh, take the challenge to make it safe according to our safety rules and also that it was able to introduce offshore. Um, we're uh, working on the decomplexion of the facility. Um, we do that with water cutting, uh, so it's a safe way to do it in a working plant. Water cutting is a technique where a mixture of water and abrasive solids is used to cut hard materials such as steel with a high pressure beam. This technique is not new. However, with the traditional way of working, large quantities of water are used and it does not provide an accurate cut. A new company called Curved Cuts uses water cutting in a new, innovative way. Using very small amounts of fresh water, this equals one Coke bottle per minute, and only one cup of solids, it can cut through steel with greater precision. 
When the high pressure beam cuts through the steel, the impact energy is immediately reduced within half a meter, making it a safe technique to use as surrounding installations are not affected. As a result, the technique can be perfectly used for offshore where space is very tight and availability of fresh water is limited. It's quite small equipment. It's, uh, it can be hand carried and that's uh, one of the reasons why we choose for this company. We put every, all our equipment put, we put in the container and we have one small container with uh, our abrasive and uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's all we need uh, on the plant. Before actually we uh, hired a barge and a lot of uh, personnel was involved, numbers of uh, 100 or even more, and they were sawing each bit and piece away from uh, the platform. And we're doing it now with water cutting. Yeah, it's much more efficient, it's faster, it's safer. We only have uh, my colleague and myself, so uh, only two people. Two people in the container is all we need. So throughout the entire project scope, uh, not only standardization and repetition are the things we're focusing on to make us more cost efficient and, and, and more, more fast, more lean. Um, but one of the great things is, for instance, the innovation part, such as the water cutting, which allows us not only to work in a more cost efficient way, but also in a much safer way than the conventional uh, means of demolishing. And this is what I think that makes O13 um, lead the way for the rest of the decomplexing scope. Over here was some old equipment, it wasn't used anymore, and we removed, we removed this vessel with uh, water cutting. After the bypass uh, phase, it's uh, fully obsolete, so we can remove all these items. Even this one. Removing those tanks probably will take a few days, a tank like this size, but a round vessel like that, uh, approximately two, three days, and it will be removed. Over here you see a conductor, it's weighing 40 tons and uh, approximate for removing it, it will cost us uh, three weeks. And actually one cut around the vessel will take uh, a couple of hours, four or five hours. That was uh, cut this morning and uh, it's ready for transport and actually for uh, as waste it can, uh, can be moved uh, by vessel to shore. We're starting on the L13C platform, for which we just uh, started uh, construction for the first uh, for the first phase. Then we'll follow with the K15 Alpha platform, and we're currently looking at feasibility to look at decomplexing for the K81 platform. The experience gained from decomplexing at the L13 platform and the innovative water cutting technique will also be used to simplify some of the other surrounding platforms. Maintenance work and inspections will be done four times a year with the innovative ship, the Kronborg. This ship was developed to safely transport staff to carry out activities efficiently. This way, one gas can continue to efficiently produce natural gas offshore at a lower cost. With 54 platforms and the gas treatment plants in Den Helder and Bacton, one gas remains an important contributor to the UK and Dutch energy supply.